Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Savvy Forensics. So, this is the fifth part of the crime scene blood stain pattern analysis. And in this part, uh, we can also that say that this is the last part of this video series. It is very interesting. Uh, it is a very interesting video. So, let's learn. So, in this part, we'll be discussing about the forensic significance of blood stain pattern analysis. Uh, up till now, we have studied everything from very basics like the biological properties of blood stains, their formation, their types, multiple methods of chemical enhancement that are used for making them vi uh, vi visible. We have also seen how to analyze the spatter stains in the crime uh, scenes. And this is the last part, which is the forensic significance of blood stain pattern analysis. So basically, blood stain pattern analysis, we have learned in the previous parts, uh, we can realize that it is a very important investigative tool, which can be uh, used in the crime scene analysis. So basically, uh, it is used in the reconstruction of crime scenes, mainly the reconstruction of events that occur in the crime scenes. We can predict them and all uh, through the various spatter analysis that we have studied in the previous video. If you haven't uh, learned or if you haven't viewed that video, please uh, go and watch that video first. You'll come to understand this video in a better way then. Second will be the corrobor uh, corroboration of statements from witness. Corroboration means basically uh, blood stain analysis. They can provide a supporting evidence from uh, to the statements that are usually told by the witnesses. So firstly, we'll reconstruct the sequence of events. Then we'll be talking to the witnesses about the event that occurred, their perspective. And through that, we can re uh, relate that this might have happened at the scene of crime. So it can provide a corroboration of statement. Third is the corroborate laboratory investigations. So it can also provide uh, the supporting evidence for the laboratory investigations. So it basically provides a supporting evidence for the laboratory investigations that are being carried out on the biological fluids. And the fourth uh, point or the fourth forensic importance is the it helps in corroboration of the post-mortem findings. It also supports for the post-mortem findings uh, through uh, the, the basically crime scene blood stain pattern analysis we do at the crime scenes. Uh, it can help us to predict or to analyze what kind of injury, what is the extent of injury that could have happened uh, to the victim crime that have taken place with him or her. So it also provides uh, supporting evidence for post-mortem findings. So moving on to the next part, blood stain pattern analysis. It provides answer to questions like what occurred means uh, what kind of crime has occurred seeing the spatter stain analysis. Second would be where did the events occur? Through the analysis of blood stain spatter, uh, blood spatter analysis, we can also uh, find the where exactly the event could have appeared or occurred through the area of origin that we have uh, that we have learned in the previous video. Third is the approximately when and in what sequence the events that have happened at the scene of crime. This is also very important. Both from what direction the victim was wounded. It can also provide the directionality of the uh, suspect as well as that of the victim through proper uh, analysis of the blood stain. How were the victims and perpetrators positioned? This is same as the previous point. It, it uh, helps to find out the directionality of the victim as well as the suspect. And the last, what movements were made after blood shed? So we can also trace the movements of the victim as well as that of the suspect. If he had a transfer of blood from the victim's body or into his or her uh, material, anything that he has, wear, he has been wearing or he is particularly injured, we can trace the movements through that also, through various types of blood stains. So these are the various questions 
are answered by the analysis of blood stain. So from here you can infer that blood stain pattern analysis is very important and very uh, significant tool for our crime scene investigations. So let's study a case where blood stain pattern analysis was used. So there was a shepherd, uh, there was a man named Sam Shepherd. This is one of the famous cases where blood spatter analysis was involved. So Dr. Sam Shepard was convicted of killing his wife in 1954. Sam Shepard, he was convicted in 1954 for killing his wife. And the case continued on till uh, 2002. So you can uh, get an idea that this case, uh, it took 48 years to get solved, around 40, 48 years. So uh, the investigation and bloodstain patterns provided the key evidence. How? Let's study. So on July 4, 1954, his wife Marilyn, who was 31 and was pregnant, was found dead. So what his what was his statement was that at the night of murder, he heard his wife's screams. So what uh, at the murder night, he uh, heard his wife scream, was screaming and uh, found her severely beaten with blood soaked into the blood, bed clothes. When he went there and what he saw, according to his statement, he saw that the blood was soaked severely in the bed clothes and she was severely beaten and spattered all around the room. He told the police that he struggled with a bushy head man and was knocked unconscious. So he also told that he also uh, struggled with a man who came to kill her, his wife and uh, which made him unconscious. This was his statement. Let's see further. However, when all of this transpired, after all what the investigations have been done, the shepherd's young son remained asleep. So at that night, his son was uh, fast asleep and he didn't knew a bit of thing about what happened to his mother. In the uh, Though his room was next to his parents. So the way the body was found suggested sexual assault. So the Marilyn, uh, who was his wife, uh, her body was found in the posture that was suggesting that sexual assault could have taken place to her before her death. Uh, it also found, uh, gave hints of burglary and drug-related robbery that was discovered. So one day during investigation, uh, the police personnel, they found a small green bag at a beach that contained shepherd's watch and that watch contained the spatter stains through, through its analysis and comparison at the laboratory he was found convicted and was sentenced for life imprisonment for killing his wife so from this case you can infer that that crime uh, through blood spatter analysis this case was solved along with the identification of the biological fluids and their comparison that is blood. So this is this was a very important case. Let's see another case study, which is related to blood spatter analysis. So here the police was informed of a murder of a woman by her husband who claimed that she shot herself. So here also a husband was claiming that uh, her woman or her wife shot herself. Uh, on the husband's clothing, some blood was observed, blood stains. A sick sore, sore P226 9mm pistol was located open. So this pistol was also found. It was located open. The husband acknowledged removing the clip and clearing the pistol and placing it on the nightstand. He also indicated washing blood off his hands and face, although denying any involvement in the death of his wife. So he did everything. He washed his hands and face, everything with blood and Further, he was denying that he was not involved in his wife's death. So transfer type blood stains were located on the majority of pistol. So here the transfer blood stains. We have studied transfer blood stain. It is a type of blood stain uh, pattern which is transferred from one surface to another. So these type of blood stains were found at the pistol which indicated her husband was maybe the culprit so blood stains were also present on the exterior of the clip blood spatter was seen on the wall and through 
the every evidence of blood spatter that was present at the scene of crime the police personnel or so the investigators were able to investigate the case properly so photographs were taken of the victim's husband documented spatter on the right side of his face cheek and around his right eye as well as his clothes so from every direction every potential evidence the blood stain blood stain photographs were taken the physical appearance and distribution of the blood spatter on the husband's clothing they indicated that he was in close proximity to the victim's head and when her gunshot wound was inflicted so they were able also able to predict the directionality as well as the origin or the positioning of the uh, suspect that is her husband and other blood stain evidence also convinced the involvement of, of husband in the murder so each and every type of blood stain spatter analysis was done and it was they all gave the same result with the involvement of husband in the murder and he was ultimately found guilty of the murder so this is also a very potential case where the blood stain analysis was used so these are some photographs of the case here the blood stains on the sheets are present for the area of convergence were being uh, calculated through the blood stains that were present on the scene of crime and the blood stains are also present on the clothing material of the suspect so three through all these analysis we can get potential leads in our investigation which can help to further uh, direction our investigation towards positive results so this was all about this vi this video series i hope that you all have understood the blood stain pattern analysis very very nicely and uh, if you have any kind of doubt you can ask in the comment section below you can also provide your feedback valuable feedback and your suggestions for improving our videos as well as teaching techniques that we use you can join us in our facebook and instagram handles also to our telegram channel where you can uh, get regular updates about the job notifications in forensics as well as important notes and lectures and the videos that we uh, upload on the youtube as well as uh, you can also visit our website saviforensic.com which contains enormous amounts of uh, valuable material for your uh, study purpose it will surely help you in your studies so if you like this video please give a, give a thumbs up you can share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you very much for joining